All right, on this third edition of Arboretum, this is a series that it's kind of like a buyer's guide into into looking at some of the woods from around the world. That way, you know what you're getting into before you spend your hard-earned cash buying it. Um, this episode, we're going to cover Purple Heart, Poduck, or Podu, um, Gongo Alves, aka Tigerwood, um, Canary Wood, and Yellow Heart. So let's dig right in. And we begin this journey with our first wood, Purple Heart. Purple Heart is a Central American in its natural habitat, one of the toughest woods around. It has an impressive strength to weight ratio and is extremely water resistant. Add these qualities together and you will understand why it's used as outdoor decking or truck bed flooring. Some lumber companies will even offer it as a wood choice for, for stickering lumber. Trees get big, obviously. You can see how wide this board is, so finding wide boards isn't too difficult. Turns well, glues well. It is very hard. It's Jenka is about 25, a little over 2,500, and its average dry weight is 4.7 pounds per board foot, and the cost is about 12 to 16 dollars per board foot. Quick note. It does have a tendency to twist, warp, and bow. So when you buy it, you would be better off to sticker it and weigh it down heavily and give it some time. Because if it's not dried right, it's too hard to straighten out and milling it down, you'll lose a lot. Little pro tip. For anyone who thinks that you can't do purple heart and cutting boards, which a lot of people do know, but Every now and then I hear some dingbat talking about how you can't. This is probably five, six, well, seven, eight years old. And nobody's growing a third arm or has been sick or anything. There's nothing wrong with it. So stop acting crazy, people. All right, number two on the list. Pawduck or Pawdu. This wood is native to... Africa, but it can be found in certain areas in Asia. The coloring is orange to red. Padu does tend to darken with age, so it may start off orange, but it'll wind up going into a red or even a, a burgundy. Another one that trees get real big. You can see this is two inches thick right here. It's a big, thick board. It's a chunky chunky monkey it's very good as far as bug resistance so it's another wood that you know especially where it's from it's, it has a lot of outdoor applications for centuries and it also has very low shrinkage so the wood is pretty stable it tends to be the go-to red wood when you're looking for that color because it's less expensive than something like blood wood or red heart and red heart has a lot more figure and that's a past video so you can check that one out. The Janka Hardness is 1970, 1970. The average dry weight is about 3.9 pounds per board foot and the cost range is about 13 to 17 dollars per board foot. It's an all-around pleasure to work with. It's not, it doesn't really give you a hard time with anything but what I will say is the end grain does tend to kind of chip pretty easily. Doing stuff like dovetailing or, or hand joinery work, so just keep that in mind. Okay, number three, canary wood. From Panama to South Brazil, it's a plentiful South American tree. The coloring, as the name suggests, tends to be a canary yellow. These are quarter sewn pieces. They tend to have a lot of straight grain and the, the coloring on it does range. You'll have oranges and golds, light browns and tans, but you do come across pieces that'll have bits of purple and red. It's not insect resistant, so coming across pieces that have you know, a little borehole in them is actually fairly common. But what I will say about that is usually the ones that have the, like a little bug hole in it, like this one does, 
they tend to have nice purples and reds, the streaking, so it looks really cool. Those two back pieces aren't quite as typical as dark as they are. Usually it's more like the first three. You tend to have colors more like this. Once you finish them, they'll, they'll darken up a bit, but these are more at the far end of the spectrum with how dark they are. You know, it's these box making, turning, inlays, a ton of stuff, all types of furniture making. The average dry weight is about 4.3 pounds of board foot. The Janka hardness is 15.20, and the pricing is about 15 to 20 dollars a board foot. Though, depending on where you go, you could probably get it a little bit cheaper because it is a, a fairly plentiful wood. It's a pleasure to work with. It's it 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 does everything well: glues, drills, turns, routering, anything. It's it's a it's a nice wood to work with. Number four, Yellow Heart. Yellow Heart is uh, an important export for Brazil. It ranges from pale yellows to bright yellows, and it'll even have some golds and whatnot. You'll notice that it doesn't have heavy grain distinction. A bit like holly in that regard, though. This is a very wide board, very uh, consistent, you know, the coloring and stuff. In, in this end of the board, it it almost looks like the same grain as like a mahogany, but over here it's like a, you know, like a satin. The Janka hardness is about 1800. The average dry weight is about 4.4 pounds per board foot. The cost range is about 15 to $22 a board foot. And that's a little bit more of a of a range because it's it's going to be where you can find it it's not it doesn't tend to be consistently imported so it's it's one of those ones that when it's around you get your hands on it and if not then the price tends to go up a bit but you know it has a lot of natural luster it's you know very consistent for doing inlays and stuff like that and it holds its color very well it'll slightly darken over time you know naturally it's a pleasure to work with so um, it's a bit dense Goncalo Alves it's commonly referred to as tiger wood because it's orange and it has black striping on it it's it natives to central to South America it's very plentiful it has excellent strength and durability it has a heavy natural oil content to it so gluing it can you know present some difficulties though there are tricks tricks to that as well it's excellent for outside and it's used for decking high-end decking siding i personally used it to to install a, a handrail going up from a garden to a, a work shed for a customer yeah so it th this is another real phone it drills excellent the it and it feels softer than what it actually is and I, I think that's due to the oil content but it 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 has like a, a softer almost want to say like a waxy feel to it yeah it's very nice some of them will tend to be um you know you can buy a lot of boards and they'll they'll look a lot like this so you know they don't have to have black striping in them so if you're just buying it by the board foot, you can wind up with a lot of just straight orange boards. But if you're picking them out yourself, you know, or you talk to the person that you normally deal with, you know, you could get a bit more specific and say that you are, you're looking for pieces that have the, the black striping in them. The Janka hardness is 2,170. The average dry weight is about 4.8 pounds per board foot and the cost range is about 13 to 16 dollars a board foot that's what you're you're looking at with with purchasing this really cool orange wood all right that's gonna wrap it up um i hope you got something out of it if you did hit that like and subscribe we'll really appreciate it and i'll catch you on the flip side progressive ideas out